So which of these words means the fear of being hugged? The answer is haptophobia. Let's get this right. Haptophobia, fear of being hugged. Hepatophobia is the fear of creepy crawlies. Heterophobia, uh, the terror of the opposite sex. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised you've got it, frankly. Uh, we're in the last bit of this morning's show. We're going to find out what Huey, Sanji, Mel and you guys think of hugging as a form of greeting. Uh, 0207173555 is the number. I'll be honest, it's a hot topic on Mumsnet. This is the internet site that proves most mothers have too much free time on their hands. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like it, post about it. Am I the only one who hates being hugged, was the question posed by one desperate poster. Is there a polite way of saying, don't touch me, you give me the creeps? <laughs> uh, <laughs> develop rampant BO was one suggestion. Another said, just step back when you see someone swooping towards you. Most seem to agree that hugging was an invasion of personal space. Most. Everyone in showbiz, darling, has been doing it for years. But I do wonder if the stars are now joining the backlash. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Uh, do Northerners... So, Northerners don't do the kissy-kissy thing, but Americans, are they big fans of the huggy-huggy? Uh, well, the showbiz air kiss thing is, is like, a big thing, uh, which I don't really go for. And... Uh, we were talking about it in the break, and, yeah. and it's one of those things where you can kind of tell if someone... If you know someone, yeah, you can give them a hug if they're a dear friend, but I usually handshake. I think that's, that's pretty polite. If you met your mate and his girlfriend, new girlfriend, Hug your mate? I would, I would hug my mate, and then I would uh, shake her hand and possibly... Kiss as well. On the cheek, That's yes. what I would do. Yeah. That's what I would And she do. would curtsy to you, not you. <laughs> <laughs> your lordship. <laughs> Ever so gracious. <laughs> um, Sanji, are you, are you a hugger, kisser time of guy? You are a hugger I, I'll, I'll take, guy, I'll, I'll take any action I can get. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, it's time and a place. I mean, you know, if, you, if you've just gone into prison... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's not a place that you want to... You got the top book, I got the bottom book. Come here. Someone's got to come here. You got to go... Um... You like spooning? <laughs> uh, better than forking. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, the point is that if you if you really are, if you have a phobia about that, if you put your hand out, and some first, people do, yeah, and that's fine. You know, that's something that they've got to deal with. You know, you don't want to force them. So, if someone puts know, out a hand first, you, you won't kiss them. No, I well, I'd, well I'd, I'll, you have to judge the situation. But you know, if the hand comes out first, that is an express thing that's saying this is the distance that I'm comfortable with right mm -hmm. now. You know? Okay, and, and then you the say, you say that. sex thing is, is as well. If you meet a uh, like a man meets a woman and, and they're in a professional environment, a handshake would suffice. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do the bear hug with a woman I didn't know, but I do I would lean over and do the kissy kissy thing. Is that out of order? Come on, gang. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come above the waist. <laughs> Keep it above the waist. <laughs> you know, you know. I'm learning. I'm learning. Let's find out from you. Are you a hugging and a kissing? Uh, we have Patrick on line one. Patrick, good morning. Hello, Matthew. Nice Hello. to talk to you. And you. Uh, are you a hugger or a, a shaker? Um, <laughs> I'm a shaker. You're a shaker. <laughs> <For preference. laughs> Let's say that to the time and place for everything, I guess. Uh, I don't particularly um, get overjoyed when somebody comes towards me and wants to sort of fling his arms around me. I don't mind too much if it's a girl, as long as the perfume's not bad. Um, it's, it's funny, cos I think it's, it's actually harder the other way round with guys. It's just another guy, but with a girl, there is that. Oh, yes. I know what you're saying. You notice the difference as well, Patrick. Glad to hear it. <laughs> but that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid, this morning. Oh, <laughs> oh we're doing it again tomorrow. <laughs> Many thanks for your calls, your tweets, your texts, and thank you to these guys. Huey, an honour and a privilege. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. I mean, it's, it's back on form. It's going to be Thank massive, I'm much. sure. Give it up for those guys. And uh, also, Sanji Mel cranking start of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our panel. <laughs> so, uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be asking special guest Professor Robert Winston if IVF is a blessing or a curse for you women. Love to hear your thoughts on that. And one more thing, if you're in this evening, don't miss the Gadget Show. We'll see you 9.15 tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>